Hello again and welcome back to the AFI DIY Lab. My name is Caitlin and I'm so happy you decided to join us in today's video. Are you a member of our notification squad? If not, go ahead and ring that bell icon so you never miss a new video from us. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than our other DIYs. If you're new to the world of candle making, you may not be familiar with gel wax and all of the guidelines that you should keep in mind when working with this medium. So with that out of the way, let's find out how this can be done. When working with gel wax, you need to be certain that the fragrance oil is safe to be used with this application. This medium requires a fragrance oil with a flash point of 170 or above that can pass the tests that are outlined by the manufacturer of the wax. These tests will allow you to determine whether a fragrance oil can properly blend into a wax without any chance of combustion throughout the use of the candle. But why do you have to go through all of this trouble? Let's break down the science of gel wax and find out how you can test whether your fragrance of choice is compatible with it or not. The molecules that make up gel wax have no regions of magnetic charge, meaning they are non-polar. Although fragrance oils all contain some degree of polar raw material, some are less polar than others. In order to be fully miscible, meaning mixable with gel wax, the fragrance oil you use must fall towards the lower end of the polar scale. To test if your fragrance oil has low polarity, you will need white food grade mineral oil. Before conducting the test, start by ensuring the flash point of your fragrance is at least 170. You can easily find the flash point of any of our fragrances on their label, as well as listed on our web store. If the flash point is under 170, the fragrance cannot be used with gel wax. If the flash point is at the appropriate level, you can move forward with the tests. By determining whether your fragrance oil of choice is miscible with mineral oil or not, you will know if it can be used safely in gel wax. To conduct this test, you'll need a pipette and two small glass bottles with lids. First, we measure out one part fragrance oil and three part mineral oil into one of the bottles. I'm using a pipette that allows me to measure in milliliters. So this bottle will get one milliliter of fragrance oil and three milliliters of mineral oil. Screw the cap on and shake the bottle well. Observe the contents of the bottle and leave it to sit for five minutes. If the mixture is cloudy, your fragrance is not compatible with gel wax and you need to try a different one. If the mixture becomes clear, you can move on with the tests. Now you're gonna measure out three parts fragrance oil and one part mineral oil into the other bottle. Give it a thorough shake and let it sit for another five minutes. Once again, if the contents are cloudy, your fragrance oil of choice is not safe to use in gel wax. However, if it remains clear, you're good to go. If your fragrance passed the test, there are still some things to keep in mind when scenting your gel wax candles. Low, medium, and high density gel waxes all have unique properties that make them great for different applications, but they also have varying fragrance usage rates. Low density gel wax can take up to 3% fragrance oil by weight. Medium density can take 3 to 5%, and high density can take up to 6%. It's crucial that you do not over fragrance your gel wax. When it comes time to add your fragrance to your wax, it is paramount that you stir for at least two minutes, if not more. Doing so will ensure the fragrance is properly distributed throughout the wax and will behave properly when the candle is burned. If you want to learn how to actually make and fragrance candles using this wax, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We'll have a brand new DIY coming your way with tons of tips and tricks that you won't want to miss. Until then, my name is Caitlin and thank you so much for watching. See you later.